Hello, and thank you for taking the time to watch one of our Continental Access training videos. In this video, we will cover how to program a basic CA4K system. In this video, we will program a basic CA4K system using databases that have already been created. Next, launch the CA4K software and verify there are no errors. To program a basic CA4K system, you will need to program a COM port, panel, schedule, reader, access group, and enter a one badge into personnel. Upon programming the devices listed in the previous step, the CA4K software should start communicating with a panel. At the CA4K login screen, type admin for the username. Type admin at 4K for the password. Next, press enter. Upon logging into the CA4K, the events grid should display. The first step is to verify the archive databases have been configured. On the main CA4K toolbar, click System. Click System Settings. Click System Wide Settings. Next, click the Archive Settings tab. Next, on the top half of the screen, Verify the archive configuration and archive events databases are configured. If they are not configured, please configure them. On a successful installation, these databases should be pre-configured. Next, click Close. Next, on the CA4K main toolbar, click Configuration. Next, on the Configuration drop-down menu, Click COM Servers and Ports. The first item we will program is a COM port, also referred to as a channel in the CA4K software. By default, there is usually one channel programmed in as Channel 1. When programming channels for Ethernet, it is highly recommended to start at Channel 5. Next, in the Channel column, change Channel 1 to channel 5. Next, click the down arrow to select the type. Next, for the type, select Network Ethernet. Next, click the down arrow of the IP address field. Select the IP address from the list. If the IP address does not display in the drop down list, you must manually type in the IP address. Next, click Baud Rate. For all Ethernet devices, select 0, valid only for Ethernet. Note, the Baud Rate for Ethernet devices are programmed in the Network Device Configuration and not in the CA4K software. Next, on the COM Servers and Ports toolbar, Click Save and Close. Next, on the CA4K main toolbar, click Configuration. Next, on the Configuration drop-down menu, click Panels. Upon the panel screen opening, click New. Next, type in a descriptive name for the panel. For our demonstration, type in Super2. Next, on the Panel's Configuration screen, select the Panel Type and COM Port. For the COM Port, select 5. For our demonstration, select Super 2 for the Panel Type. Next, on the Panel's toolbar, click Save and then click Close. Next, on the CA4K main toolbar, click Administration. Next, on the Administration drop-down menu, click Schedules. Upon the Schedule screen opening, click New. In the Schedule name box, type in a descriptive name for the schedule. For our demonstration, type in 24x7. Next, 
Click New Block. Upon clicking New Block, a schedule will auto-populate with a 24-7 schedule. Next, on the Schedules toolbar, click Save and then click Close. Next, on the CA4K main menu, click Configuration. Next, on the Configuration drop-down menu, click Readers. Upon the Readers screen opening, click New. Next, for the device name, type Super2 Reader 1. There are multiple tabs in the Reader screen. We will be leaving most of the settings at the default for our demonstration. Next, select the panel type. For our demonstration, select Super 2. Next, on the Reader's toolbar, click Save and then click Close. Next, on the CA4K main toolbar, click the Access Groups icon. Upon the Access Groups screen opening, click New. Next, for the Access Group's name, type All Access. Next, click the plus sign to expand the settings for the panel. Under the panel, the reader we configured should display. You must assign a time schedule to the reader that we configured. On the right side of the screen, you must change Not Used to the time schedule we pre-configured. The time schedule will determine when the badge holder has access to the reader. To select a schedule, click the down arrow to display the available schedules. Select the 24X schedule that we pre-configured. Next, on the Access Groups toolbar, click Save and then click Close. Next, on the CA4K main toolbar, click the personnel icon. For our demonstration, we will add one person with one badge assigned to that person. Next, click New Person. Next, for our demonstration, we will enter badge number 58094. Next, for the first and last name, type in John Smith. Upon typing in the first and last name, click the Access Groups tab. Note, the CA4K software allows up to 16 access groups per badge holder. By default, the software defaults to two access groups per badge holder. In System Settings, you have the option to change it up to 16 access groups per badge holder. For our demonstration, we will leave it at two access groups per badge holder. On the Access Groups tab, set Access Group Number 1 to All Access. Upon configuring Access Group Number 1 to All Access, click Save and then Close. At the completion of programming a COM port, panel, schedule, access group, and a badge, the panel should start communicating. Summary After the COM port, panel, schedule, reader, access group, and badge is programmed, the downloads should occur automatically. At the completion of the data download, swipe the badge that was entered into personnel during our demonstration and a badge valid alert will display. This concludes the video on programming a basic CA4K system. If you have any questions or technical issues regarding programming the CA4K, please contact Continental Technical Support. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.